if you want to get a good understanding of a watch company, visiting a manufacturer is something you really should try to plan. This is where you discover how a company builds its timepieces, defines quality, and what is made in-house. IWC was born from an industrial vision as F.A. Jones set up his manufacture next to the River Rhine. Here he could combine American production methods, hydropower from the river, and Swiss watchmaking skills. The brand recently opened its new, very impressive new Manufaktur Centrum. IWC has invested heavily in uh, building its portfolio of movements and this new manufacture. This is key for the brand to be able to innovate and to have total control over their quality. Let's have a look inside. Well, uh, ever since we actually founded 151 years ago, we had a quite unique approach in the watchmaking industry, which is all about that combination of engineering and craftsmanship. Our founder originally set out to combine American manufacturing technology and Swift craftsmanship to make uh, pocket watch movements for the American market. And at IWC, we've always combined the best in engineering innovation with the best in craftsmanship to make our watches. And this has been the guiding strategy for our manufacturing here as well. We've been known mainly for our chronographs, our double chronographs and our calendars, especially the annual and perpetual calendars. And we've really built our competence in-house to build these movements over the last few years, now resulting also this year in the launch of the Calibre 69 chronograph and the launch of the Calibre 32 automatic movements. And on top of that, it's always been about material, starting all the way from back in the day of Porsche design when we were the innovators and first movers in titanium, the first movers in ceramic, and combining these two materials more recently in our serotanium or black material that is basically ceramic infused titanium that gets fired to produce completely black and scratch resistant watches. So these two bits, movement competence and material competence, really make up our manufacturing strategy here for IWC in Schaffhausen. So our first site actually by the River Rhine in Schaffhausen was built in 1874 by F.A. Jones and since then we've only expanded this site and ended up with quite a complex mix of buildings and surfaces where we make our watches and as you can imagine being stuck over several floors between the River Rhine and the old town of Schaffhausen that is not the most efficient way uh, in modern times to make watches. So we decided it was time a few years ago to expand in Schaffhausen uh, on a site where we really have space for the next 150 years uh, to expand our production and make our watches. So this site has been conceived to achieve three things. We wanted to A, have a very flexible and efficient production space for our watches. We wanted to represent the brand and make a very nice environment, an ergonomic environment for our colleagues to work in. And finally, we wanted to create a very, very compelling story for our visitors from the get-go. So the visitor experience here has never been an afterthought. We actually planned this in from the very beginning to explain in sequential logical steps how a raw bar of metal is turned into a watch case and turned into a watch movement. So here we are in three levels, 13,000 square meters in total, with a maximum flexible space with only structural columns every 13.5 meters, giving us maximum flexibility in terms of laying out manufacturing the way it's logical, the way it's needed, but also making sure that the communication between every department of the production is much, much closer and we can exchange very directly between one department and another. We're here at the new design center of RWC Schaffhausen. Uh, the move and the opening of our new manufacturing site uh, outside of Schaffhausen gave us the opportunity also to reshuffle a couple of spaces within the headquarters. And this allowed to, to open a new creative center, which actually brings all together the creative disciplines we, we work with, the watch designers, designers working on graphics and communication, visual merchandising. Uh, the visualization of our product. So all the creative disciplines actually are located in this, this new space, what you see behind me. And uh, this new space also will be open to the visitors coming to Schaffhausen and experience actually more about the production and creation process uh, behind our amazing product. And this is part of our strategy here in Schaffhausen and to be more transparent and be more visible as a brand. So the new visitor tour will include actually a tour through the creative center, will open up also the test lab, which we have never shown before uh, to visitors and uh, actually make our visitors experience what the quality of our product is about.
Well, actually, over the last few years with uh, opening the manufacturing center, we've made huge progress in terms of the way we embed the quality management into our manufacturing. So one of the principles is we do quality testing every way of every step of the way in our production. We don't assemble our watch movements completely and then check the quality afterwards. What we do is really embed quality control and measurements and spot checks into every single step of production. And that makes sure that every time a part is finished and moves on to the next step, the quality is 100% guaranteed and controlled. Another thing I mentioned previously is also the communication between departments. We try to make sure that the, the paths and the communication paths between different departments are as short as possible and that our watchmakers and our engineers can talk to each other at the point of production. That helps a lot as well. And then finally, we've introduced custom designed uh, machines that do our 500 hour tests where our watch movements are tested in different positions for their accuracy and precision and we can actually log and track their performance for customer data retrieval later on in the process to make sure that all our movements before they go into their watch case are 100% quality controlled and tested. This new facilities also has massively influenced also the design and development process. With more people and more elaborate processes to control this quality during the development process with a risk analysis, with FEM methods, with material testing and even before the product has been released during the product development process. We use data coming from our customer service uh, to go into the development process and to improve on the next product generation. A good example for that is also the way we design our products today. Like, like a couple of decades ago, it was not unusual that a designer would work with, a, with an engineer or watchmaker to develop a product just with two people. Nowadays, we have in the product development teams people from industrialization, from quality, from customer service, uh, from purchase department, and uh, the different engineers and product, product developers from, from movement and cases. And all these expertise really helps us in the end to build a better product and to build a product which is superior to what we had many, many decades ago. So naturally that leads us to uh, a great confidence in the quality of our watches and our movements and that's why we are very, very happy now to be in a position to offer a warranty extension from our two years limited international warranty up to eight years limited international warranty by registering on IWC.com. And this we really think is a major, major step for our clients in terms of the confidence we offer, the, the service we offer to our clients and really making sure that we can enjoy our products for many, many years to come without having to worry about servicing costs going forward for the first eight years of the watch's lives.